Hello everybody and welcome to another continuity analysis, re analysis review thingy except for this is not a continuity this is a compilation and if you don't know the difference between a continuity and a compilation well I'm not gonna explain it to you because that's how I am well I'm, I'm sure everybody knows it the difference so there's really no need to explain it so I'm just gonna do something real quick and I'm back so we're looking at Dora the Explorer with her uh, monkey named Boots and Boots is the name of the monkey because honestly I don't know the difference between monkey and chimp and ape I just use them interchangeably so this monkey is wearing boots that's why it's called boots uh, I think I'm being mr. obvious here so yeah the it's all about the monkey here the monkey is enjoying the bananas I like mispronouncing words or pronouncing them in a funny unusual way so uh, we've got pepper the pig and Holly and Ben and their kingdom of magic you see what I'm doing here I'm I'm changing their names they're almost the proper names but actually they're not the proper names because the proper names are slightly different so Nick jr. dot co and dot UK why doesn't you the United Kingdom just uh, have dot UK as their domain name why do they need dot co dot uk what does the co stand for well it probably stands for commercial just like com stands for but i digress let's look at max and ruby the brand new show it says brand new show but this recording is from years ago maybe decades ago you know what i'm saying so this is definitely not new anymore but it used to be new so that's funny looking from the future into the past and when people say words like new they're no longer relevant but I mean we still remember Max and Ruby most of us probably am I right so we got the Chinese girl or something like that I don't know uh, I, I did I hear a sound? I think I heard some kind of sound. Well, so what is this? Well, I don't know. I've never seen this cartoon before. It looks nice. It looks entertaining. But oh yeah, it's just me. The sound that I heard before was just me. Uh, yeah, interacting with the stool, with a stool, basically a chair of some sorts. So we have Nicholas Jr. That's how I like to call it because I'm kind of tired of saying Nick or Nickelodeon Jr. Right? So I want to say Nicholas Jr. Because Nick is short for Nicholas. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So, uh, so we got all the cartoon characters combined standing ne next to each other. That's pretty special if you ask me. So, party, it's all about party, and we're talking about celebration party, because there's a lot of parties out there that don't have to do with celebrations. I almost said celebrations, because that's how I almost chose to mispronounce this on purpose. This October, notice the letter S has the oink tail, the, the, the pig tail pigtails no not, not that kind of pigtail you know there there's pigtails and there's tails of a a tail of a pig tails of pigs so we see them uh, playing on the playground and splashing in the mud puddles because for some reason that's their favorite thing to do and they're blissfully unaware of how inappropriate they are I don't know something about them is inappropriate and I mean like in a behavioral type of way like they're happy when they shouldn't be like you know what I'm saying they're too happy in moments where no happiness is warranted they're overly happy in moments where 
it's inappropriate. That's my impression of this cartoon. At the same time, it's extremely uh, unterhaltsam. Dieser Zeichentrickfilm ist uh, sehr unterhaltsam. I don't know why I just switched to German. I think I pressed some kind of button and it translated me to German. I don't know what's going on. This this video have two audio tracks and one of them is in German. Is somebody like dubbing what I say? Ich weiß es nicht, meine Damen und Herren. Vielleicht geschieht das wirklich so. Aber I don't know. Maybe maybe some somebody's playing around with the remote control. I don't know. I I I did not know I could speak German. This sounds highly suspicious to me, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, uh, we got Pepper the Pig once again. We got Boots the Monkey <laughs> and Holly the Ben. No, Ben the Holly, Ben, Holly, Holly and Ben. It's Magic Kingdom. It does not have mushroom in the title. For some reason, I want to add mushroom to the title of this cartoon. Because that's me. That's how I roll. And if you got a problem with that, you can, um, I don't know. You shouldn't have a problem with this because that's not something problematic, I guess. So uh, this week, the star of the week, Nick Jr. star of the week. I've never seen this before in my whole entire life. Uh, I mean, maybe I've seen it once. I don't know. This is all very new to me. These bumpers are pretty old, older than I'm than I'm used to. So, um, you know, these are compilations from all over the interwebs. So, you know, some of them might be exclusive and rare and whatnot, and uh, interesting and good looking and impressive and also fun and entertaining and colorful and playful and all these other words I'm not good with words I said so let's let's prove the opposite and then convict the perpetrator hey you look nice picture nice green looking picture I picture that picture being in a picture frame yes a lot of words can be used the same word can be used for multiple meanings. Hey, look, there's a funny looking crow and a cat. Cat crow, the cat crow show. That's what I'm talking about. Do never look at the sun directly. It will damage your eyes. That's very important. A hard lesson some people learn the hard way. Do not be one of those people because it's really, really, really not advisable to look at the sun, especially during noon. It's less bad during evening, during sunsets, but yeah. So let's change the topic, shall we? It's still showing a lot, this cat a lot. So November, what's happening in November? Four mo Mondays slimed. So the Nickelodeon is famous for this gooey greenish substance and they call it slime and they like to apply it to a lot of people during their shows and uh, yeah a lot of people want this slime applied to them so I'm like yeah name age address <laughs> what what was on that chalkboard I couldn't read Nick takes over your school that's kind of fun looking but I'm not sure I would like to participate because that would possibly make my outfit dirty you know so we're actually near the end of this video hope you enjoyed it check out more videos on this YouTube channel because it has a lot more videos just like this one so see ya bye bye